Hello friends, Radhika Ravi Kumaiya. So in this tutorial, we'll see what is GTT. So the full form of GTT is uh, Global Temporary Table. Or else you can call it as uh, Temp Table also. So here, the points to be noted in this uh, GTT is as the name suggests, the data that is stored in this table is going to be a temporary one. Okay, and uh, the next thing is um, the data is stored in the RAM, and hence the processing will be faster. That is, uh, you can say only the we know very well the logical reads will happen whenever the data is stored in RAM, whereas not the physical reads. So just the logical reads will happen so it will be faster ok so these are the things that we need to note uh, regarding this GTT now coming to the types of uh, GTT the types are uh, one is the transaction specific GTT and the second one is um, session specific uh, GTT. Okay, so uh, in this tutorial, we'll see what is transaction specific GTT and how to create this table. Okay, so now uh, coming to transaction specific GTT. Here, uh, in this transaction specific GTT, whenever the data is stored in this table, the data will be there till we give this uh, keywords like uh, commit or else rollback. That is, uh, we know very well whenever in the normal table, when we create the normal table and insert data into it, when we say commit, the data will st get stored there permanently, whereas when we say rollback, it gets rolled back. But here, uh, in the transaction specific, mainly in the GTT, global temporary table, whenever we give this, uh, give this uh, keywords, the data gets deleted automatically. So that's why we call it as transaction specific GTT. Okay. So uh, we'll just uh, see, um, you know, how this um, table is created. To create this table, the normal way of creating table itself, but the keyword, there is little bit change in the keywords. Like just say create. As we are creating uh, GGT, just say global temporary table and then give the table name. I will just name it as GGT1. Then here inside this, you need to give the columns. I will just specify one column here. Then, and at the end, just say on commit delete rows. Okay. So, on committing, you need to delete the rows. That, that's what this means. So, this is the way of uh, creating the GTT. We'll just execute this. So, you can see the table got created. Now, let us insert some values into it into gtt1 values okay. now when i select start from gtt1 you can see the data is there now when i give commit or else roll back uh, again when i select it select the try to select the data from this table it won't be there so let me say commit and now when i try to select you can see no rows selected but the table will be there but the data will not be there so this board is about um, transaction specific gtt so hope uh, you people have understood uh, in the next uh, tutorial we'll see what is session specific gtt and how we can create um, the second type of GTT. So, till then, thank you very much for watching.